Here is a picture of a breast tumor, and you can see it's clearly the whitish area surrounded by the softer yellow fat. If you look in some areas, you might think that this tumor is pretty well separated from the surrounding fat, but if you look in other areas, you might think that perhaps the whitish firmer tumor is infiltrating the fat. From a gross point of view, uh, you're not entirely comfortable. This is a benign, well-defined, or well-encapsulated tumor. And microscopically, when you look at this tumor, it looks very blue. You are thinking, gee, maybe this isn't a breast tumor at all. Maybe it's a lymph node. Notice how the interface between the tumor and the fat is pretty uh, sharp here and uh, perhaps not as sharp over here. So once again, you're wondering what's going on? What is this? Is it a lymph node? Is it malignant? Is it benign? Well, let's quit asking questions and zoom up a little bit. And you could see here, once again, very, very blue, very, very cellular. Uh, and even at higher power, you are thinking perhaps most of this is lymphoid. You're thinking, gee, maybe this isn't breast at all. But now when you go higher, you could see some irregular, perhaps epithelial looking glandular structures here, 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 and even really throughout the whole area in which you're wondering if these are infiltrating glandular elements. In addition, these uh, glandular uh, or epithelial areas, even though they are surrounded by a very abundant amount of lymphocytes, they look as malignant as all hell and they have all of the classical uh, features for malignancy. It's not like lobular carcinoma or some of the introductals when the nuclei don't look terribly bad. You should be able by now to look at little clusters of cells like this and just instantly say malignant. They're big, they're irregular, they're dark. Uh, they have uh, nucleoli that are about as big as your basketball but there are probably even a greater amount of lymphoid cells surrounding this. And of course, you know, this is just a little crack artifact. This is a medullary carcinoma, and uh, it's often in younger women, and it also has a generally be more favorable prognosis of, because it has so many lymphocytes surrounding it, you would think, gee, the body must be fighting this tumor tremendously with all these lymphocytes, so maybe she'll do better than normal. Or perhaps you want to go back to what your eyes saw grossly in that it seemed to be very well delineated and not infiltrating too much. But statistically, these do uh, better than the run-of-the-mill infiltrating ductals, uh, just like the colloid carcinomas do better as well. Uh, medullary carcinoma of the breast. Thank you very much.